let me tell you a story as I, as I near the end. It's a true story about a bunch of children in the 1700s. So kids, would you listen in? Because this could be you. They're in Moro uh, they're Morovian, which means they're in Morovia. And they saw a bunch of soldiers walk by one day and the soldiers stopped in their village on the way to go into battle and they stood and they prayed for a minute. And the children took note of this and they thought, wow, maybe there is a true and living God who's listening. And so the children who were in some sort of lockdown, a little bit like us at the moment, they said, why don't we pray? So once a day, they moved outside the village, they put down their toys, they stopped whacking each other with sticks and they gathered in a circle and they started to pray. And this built a bit of pace. On the first day, they did it once. On the second day, they did it twice. On the third day, they did it three times. And it started to build to the point where for two or three hours every day, children in this village would stand outside and pray. And the parents got really worried about this. And you would, wouldn't you? What on earth is going on with my child? Some of them tried to stop their kids from going out. There's reports, history tells us, of kids shimmying down drain pipes to escape out of the house to go and pray in the field. At one point, <laughs> I can't believe they did this. They called in the local executioner with his scary mask to take his big axe and go along to try to scare the children to stop them from praying. And it reports, the news reported back that he came back into the village with tears running down his cheek as he was so moved with the insistence that those children would pray. It wasn't long before they had to build a church there because of the prayers. And history reports that 5,000 people gathered and a Moravian movement developed. Now, perhaps you've not heard of it, but anybody who knows about church history has, because they sent out from that church that had started by prayer, literally hundreds of missionaries to the UK to Western Europe, even all the way to the US. And by the time it got to the early 1800s, a mere 50 years later on, there was a man by the name of Charles Wesley, sorry, jo uh, John Wesley, of uh, whose sing uh, hymns and songs and sermons we listen to and sing about. He went to a meeting one day and it was led by a bunch of Moravian missionaries. And he came to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Saviour. And for any of you who know, that guy went on to lead the great revivals and great awakenings in both the UK and in the US. In other words, the UK and the US are different countries today because of the work of John Wesley. Now, listen up. Let's work backwards. Where did it all start? Was it with John Wesley? Was it in those countries? No, it started with children way back in a field praying that God would have a great harvest. Could the Lord do that again? Of course he could.